good Monday morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. I was reading about a man in the Bible who had just about everything. You talk about pleasure and treasure, it seemed like that he had it all. Of course, I'm speaking about King Solomon. He gave us the book of Ecclesiastes, and he gave in the second chapter, and I, don't, of course, don't have time to read and comment on that chapter, but uh, he talks about, though, how I'm going to go out and enjoy pleasure, and he said, this is just vanity. He went on to talk about all of the great works that he had done, building houses, planted vineyards, made gardens and orchards, and planted trees of all kinds, and went on to talk about the servants and the maidens and the great possessions that he was able to possess. He gathered silver and gold as a peculiar treasure of kings, and he became a great person. He said, so I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem, and also my wisdom remained with me. Looks like there's a man that had it all. But you know, on down into the chapter there, he said, then I looked on the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. Well, you know, I used to enjoy sometimes dreaming about having great wealth, and I, along with many of you others, I've thought about, you know, a lot of things that I would like to do before I die, a lot of places that I would like to go, a lot of places that I would like to be a partaker in, and I think that we all have our dreams, and we all think of those things that might really make us really happy and contented, and indeed it does seem like that pleasure ought to be fulfilling, and it does seem like that treasure ought to satisfy, but you know, it's been proven time and time again that pleasure is short-lived, that treasure can be taken away so very quickly, that it's not really possessions that bring real satisfaction. And I'm glad that I found out in my life, before I spent a lot of energy chasing the pleasures and the treasures of this world, I'm glad that I found out that that's not really what life's all about. And if you're one of those pleasure-mad people and you think that all of the accumulation of wealth and, and the treasures of this world are going to make you happy, then I believe that you're on the pathway of strong delusion because you're going to end up like so many. You're going to be disappointed. You are going to be disillusioned because it's not the things of this world that really bring happiness and joy. And like I say, I'm a little older than many of you and... Yet I found out many years ago that the pursuit of treasure and pleasure isn't really uh, the main thing in life. The main thing in life is Jesus Christ. I like the song, Oh, I Have Found Him, This Crystal Fountain. And you know, uh, the satisfaction is found in Jesus Christ. Satisfaction is found in that one that maybe after our search for treasure and pleasure is all over, and leaves us dissatisfied and unfulfilled, we can know that there is one that does satisfy, that there is one that does bring fulfillment into our life. You know, I was listening to a tape or a CD just today that says, I'd rather have Jesus than anything. And that's kind of the conclusion that I've come to. I'd rather have Jesus than anything. Now that's not saying that you can't have some pleasure and some treasure along the way and not have Jesus, but if you really make treasure and pleasure the main thing in your life and exclude Christ, you're making a terrible mistake. You can have Christ and have satisfaction and fulfillment without pleasure and treasure. And uh, I just am so happy, as I say, that I learned a long time ago that it doesn't take a lot of pleasure it doesn't take a lot of treasure to make us happy. It takes Jesus Christ living within our heart. I'm glad that I have him in my heart today. Glad that I'm not just chasing the wind in the hopes of satisfaction, fulfillment. But uh, I am uh, chasing a relationship with Jesus Christ that will bring a wonderful salvation. Well, if you don't know him today, you can know him. and You can know that he satisfies and fulfills like nothing else can. Let us pray with you. Heavenly Father, we're glad for 
the fulfillment, the satisfaction that we find in Jesus Christ our Lord. We know, Lord, that Thou art the one that really meets the deep longing of the soul. Thou art the one that satisfies completely. We pray that Thou will help us not to make a mad rush for the treasures and the pleasure of life. But, Lord, may we make all kinds of effort to be uh, seeking after God and having Jesus Christ living within our heart. Bless us throughout another day of life. Help us, dear Lord, to love and to serve Thee and to be a blessing to others. In Christ's name, amen. Well, thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.